Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light photo edit. I'm your host, Len Erickson. Today we have a user submitted photo from Fabio. Uh, Fabio uh, just got a brand new camera for the holidays and uh, he's been trying his hand at a little uh, night photography. So uh, Fabio has requested uh, for us to go ahead and see about uh, what we can do in terms of editing this photo and uh, so uh, let's get started and see what we can do. Okay, so let's uh, take a look here. Uh, we'll press the info on it. We can see that this particular photo here uh, was taken by a Canon Rebel T5i. Uh, that means we're, we're dealing with about a fifth, I think it's 18 megapixels on this camera. So we've got a little bit of wiggle room here. Uh, uh, and it was taken at 1 25th of a second, f11. ISO 200 with a 250 millimeter lens. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, just quickly looking in, zooming in on it, we can uh, we can see this is actually a, a pretty nice photo in itself. Uh, definitely a good exposure, uh, lots of detail in the moon. Um, so we definitely have something to work with here. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, what I like to do generally when I photo edit is I like to uh, actually crop before I do actual any edits in it. Uh, just a habit I picked up. So let's go ahead and crop this photo. Now I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, you know, nice full moon shot like this. This is just begging to me to be a actual uh, square cropped uh, photo. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. So I'm going to pull down on the aspect ratio, 1 to 1, which is going to give us a, a square to crop. I'm going to grab the corners and come in nice and tight. Okay, and uh, we'll just adjust it here. Move this thing in until we're just about centered. I'm going to come in a little tighter. I want to go in too tight as, you know, we only have a limited amount of resources. Uh, but that looks pretty good. It's centered in the frame. So let's go ahead and hit enter to commit the crop. And uh, there we are. We are cropped. And that uh, that looks pretty good now. Okay. Um, we've got a little loss of detail in that. But that's to be expected. And I think we can, uh, we can definitely work with this. Okay. So one of the first things we do is we look at the histogram here. And we can see where we have details and so forth uh, uh, in the blacks and all the way to the whites. And so everything looks okay, but I think we got plenty of room. We do have some clipping here uh, of the blacks. So we'll go ahead and see what we can bring back. So we'll go to the basic uh, adjustments here and open up the basic panel. And I'm going to, uh, I'm not really going to play with too much here because he, he actually did a very good job uh, on the exposure. Like I said, the detail is showing up in the moon. Uh, a lot of people that shoot their first moon shots uh, wind up overexposing because they don't realize how, how bright the actual moonlight is. And uh, they wind up with a glowing orb uh, of no detail at all. But here we do have some detail. So let's see if we can bring some of that back. So the exposure is the first thing that I want to turn around and I mess with. See here, if we went one more stop, we would lose all the detail in that. So I'm actually going to bring the exposure down to about, uh, oh, 0.10, I think it would be plus on that. Um, co co contrast, let's see, we're going to come in and I'm going to actually go negative on the contraster. I'm going to come in to... Oh, pretty close to, yeah, I like that, 100, a negative 100 on the contrast. And now I'm going to come into uh, the highlights and the shadows, uh, shadows. Um, so we're going to come in and bring in here and see we're not really having too much of effect. Actually, I'm going to just go ahead and throw the shadows all the way down to a negative 100. And now the whites. Um, for the whites, just so you know, a little tip on doing the white point of a picture. Uh, if you hold the option key down, uh, you will, while you click on this, you will actually see the point. It'll actually show you when you're able to bring in a white point into the photo. 
when you just begin to see a white point uh, back off on it okay and then you know you have your white point set so here we're looking at about 37 okay so here I am I'm coming in and I'm moving it till I just see just the first speck at 37 there's my white point for blacks I do the exact same thing holding the uh, option key down and I come in and I'm going to come in until I have there so I want nothing else but I want the sky to be totally black so negative 100 on the blacks okay and actually we're, we're actually starting to uh, show a little more detail a little more crispness uh, we've got the sky in absolute black now we're actually starting to see the craters and we're actually starting to see the polar coordinates here the lines that come off the poles uh, it's starting to starting to come along okay so we're going to go with Lightroom. We just started at the top. We're going to go to the next section, which is called the Tone Curve. And with the Tone Curve, we can again adjust our highlights, our lights, darks, and shadows, okay, depending on where we are on the graph. And with this one here, I'm going to just touch the highlights just a little bit. See if I bring them in here, I'm actually bringing the highlights up in the region okay and I'm not gonna do too much here I'm gonna really actually not do much at all maybe about right there that puts a slight curve I don't know if you can even see that in the video but that actually puts a little increase on that and I'm also going to bring the darks down which is going to ring in okay and again I don't want to be heavy-handed uh, one of the first things you know is uh, being heavy-handed with your editing uh, it makes it look like a photo was edited excessively and you don't want that to ever be so for this purposes here you notice I have just a slight little s curve in the curve adjustments so I've upped the highlights plus 8 and I've taken the darks down to a negative 16 okay and that's about all I actually am going to do on the uh, tone curve okay and we go down the list and if I'm going to do anything I'm not going to make anything in black and white I'm not going to do any split toning but I am going to come down to details and so for the details this is where we do a bit of sharpening okay and I am going to do some sharpening so I'm going to slide this lower here I'm actually going to come in and uh, click so I can actually see what I'm doing uh, come in and do a little bit of a adjustment here and uh, I'm looking about right there that looks actually pretty good okay so 128 on the amount of sharpening uh, detail and that masking I'm gonna put a little bit of mask on this so it doesn't over sharpen uh, probably about 15 or 16 or so somewhere about that okay so that's about all I'm going to do in the sharpening area is I'm going to come now come into uh, uh, lens correction come down and uh, I'm going to remove any chromatic aberrations which cleans up the photo as if there's any uh, fringing on it okay and that's about all I'm going to do in this section I'll come down to uh, uh, effects and I'm not going to do any vignetting or any grain adding so the last section is camera calibration and I'm going to I'm actually gonna bring in since this was shot with a uh, Canon Rebel I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in with one of the uh, Canon profiles and for this one I'm, I'm thinking probably camera faithful yeah you can see right there uh, the change when I make that there here's the uh, standard uh, Adobe profile and I'm going to bring in the Canon faithful and that really did a nice job on profiling uh, the camera okay and again we can come in and we can see what we've done uh, well, right now we have a uh, thing now when we do these little edits and we go through section by section uh, you really may not notice this but if you want to see the before and after 
Uh, it's really simple. You just hit the backslash key on your keyboard, and here's before and here's after. Okay? So you can see uh, it's a subtle difference, but it actually brings in the details. You can actually see the polar coordinates. Uh, and uh, so there's a nice little edit, nice little crop. Now I would just simply turn around and uh, save this and export it out and uh, it would be ready for posting on the web. Okay, so hopefully that helped out and uh, you guys take care and get out shooting.